Welcome to the stream. Zach Clorox here. We're just trying to figure out a little bit of communication stuff between me and my guest today. It'll be uh, Mr. Backstron and uh, Stephen from Skybox Labs, who's going to join us for a little bit of lethal tactics. So just hold tight, say hi in the chat. Uh, we're just getting some, possibly a Discord uh, channel going here real quick so we can actually figure out our communication because Skype is sucking. All right. Uh, Bax, you still there? Yes, I am. Uh, welcome to the stream, my friend. Uh, now we just got to get Steven in here. He's got about half an hour that he can uh, give us some pro tips. He is, uh, well, we'll wait till he comes in, then I'll introduce him properly. So did you get that Discord link? I did not. Uh, it's in the Skype chat. He didn't come through for some reason. Oh, man, Skype is just sucking a oh, man, it just got to me. salt pick. So it must have taken a while. All right, uh, weird, yeah, if it's lagging out. All right, we'll see if you guys can join in, in uh, to Discord here. I've never used Discord before. We got uh, Syntax and Baxtron. I see you guys both in there. Okay, we're um, gonna cut loose from Skype then? Yeah, let's cut loose from Skype. Bye, Skype. Skype, adios. Yeah, quit that Skype. All right, we're gonna be playing some Lethal Tactics today. Uh, it's an uh, indie dev project from Skybox Labs in Vancouver, uh, where I'm from, and uh, we're going to have a good time. So let's see if we can, these guys can get into the voice channel. All right, there, uh, we're just trying to figure out the old Discord. Please hold on. Is anybody even in here is the other question. Hello and welcome to the stream. Let me make sure that Revlo's in here because he's the one giving us double salt. Mine and double salt from the salt mines today. Welcome to the salt pits, my friends. All right, can these guys join the voice channel? I'm gonna join general voice channel. Why, hello. Is Baxitron there? I would like to say hello to Baxitron. Can Syntax join? Hey, who's there? Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, hey, it's Steven. How's it going, man? Good, good. Oh, this is way better. Stupid Skype. Right. Suck it, Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for Baxter to activate ye olde microphone, but I'll, I've kind of introduced him a little bit. So anybody, welcome to uh, Steven from Skybox Labs. He's one of the uh, co-founders and uh, has, is graciously joining us to give us some hints and tips as we uh, explore lethal tactics today. So thank you for joining. Oh, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Should be a good time. Uh, and, uh, oh, and there goes Backstron. <laughs> he was in chat, and there he's back. All right, we'll wait for him to join as well, and then we're going to get this set up. I've got Lethal Tactics loaded up on the stream. Let's make sure that it's all good. And that background laughter is my wife playing Garden Warfare 2. You can fully nice. expect that <laughs> throughout the stream. Oh, good time. So we're going to do a little head-to-head -head action here. Um, just waiting for Vax to get into the game. Uh, so I met Steven. We met at uh, the Twitch Vancouver meetup and uh, loved your game at first sight, man. So I saw it the week before on uh, on Steam and uh, got a very uh, action packed. I played this a bunch yesterday. I'm looking forward to actually doing the stream today. So super, super fun. Um, not very far into the campaign, though, because you guys, it's not an easy game to play, let me tell you. It requires um, good strategic thinking. Yeah, the campaign is very, very challenging. Um, <laughs> we, uh, it's funny, we actually made it a little more uh, simple recently, because um, we got some feedback that people were having some struggles in the first mission, so we actually started to make those a little easier, and I think we might take one more pass at it, because it is... Uh, we we do like to we do like really like tough games at uh, at Skybox and so we tend to make very tough games. <laughs> All right. But uh, All right. yeah, it's uh, once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty smoothly. But it is it can be really challenging. Oh, for sure. And you just I mean, this is what I like about these kinds of games too. Uh, is the amount of choices that you have at any one given time. You know, it's the overcoming the paraly uh, analysis paralysis and uh, just you know what, I'm just going to press execute and we're just going to run straight into it. So <laughs> I like that a lot. It's uh, a fun game to die in because you never know what's, uh, what's quite going to happen. 
Yeah, and you always learn, I always find you learn quite a bit when you die. It's 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 often like you know if I had a, a rough rough turn, it's always like I know exactly what I did wrong. Totally. It's uh yeah, finding out that grenades uh, bounce off walls is uh, a tough lesson to learn for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And for some reason now, uh, Backstron says he can't can't hear us for some reason. He's muted his own mic. I can see a bunch of things flickering. Uh, let's see, user volume. Wow, actually pretty awesome what they've done with uh, Discord here. Hmm, very cool. All right, well, um, so while we wait for him to jump in, let's just, I can challenge him directly, right? Yeah, if you can find him on the list, um, you, you can issue a challenge to him directly. All right, he's jumping in and out. Oh, should be found. Do I need to match case? Uh, no, in fact, if, uh, is he, is he on the, the global rankings there? Oh, yeah, I just had to just scroll down. And... Just had to match case yeah, or... with him on the search. That works as well. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Sorry, anybody that's in the stream, if you notice that the audio is cutting out, it's because I'm switching context off of the game uh, into Discord or something else. Uh, so we'll drop audio occasionally. Uh, don't let that bother you. The audio is pretty sweet in this game, by the way. Hmm, okay. If he's in, I can just give him a straight up challenge, right? And I get to set it up. Colonia. Yeah. Elimination. Oh, damn, you can do up to six people? Like the team yeah, size you is pretty good. Yeah, team sizes can be anywhere between one and, and six people. Actually, I sometimes like creating games with just two because it makes a very tense game. Wow, but no doubt. Four to five is usually a typical. But what are randomized uh, environment? Is that just like, is there a standard level layout and then there's some stuff that's seeded in or? Yeah, that's exactly it. So each each map has kind of a core theme to the, the strategy, strategic elements of the map. Um, but uh, we found that people learned the maps really quickly. So we added a, a randomization element that shuts down some of the common corridors that people would run through, uh, run for. So each, each map has like multiple layouts um, that kind of kind of shut down your go-to strategies uh, or, or open up new ones. And so that kind of allows people to have a little bit more uh, differentiation in, uh, in the maps. Oh, that sounds cool. I'm just flipping through the maps here in the stream. They look all pretty awesome. All right, let me just, uh, I got to give uh, Baxtron another quick invite into the chat for Discord. One second here. Uh, how do we get, or I'm just trying to figure this out as well. Notifications, get him. So what's your favorite map, Steven? My favorite map is probably Laredo Junction. Um, it was actually one of the very first maps that we did. Um, it was, uh, so, so, so a lot of uh, Lethal Tactics was inspired from some of our favorite movies. And, and that one always reminds me of way, the big battle scene in uh, Way of the Gun. And so the, I always like battling around the fountain. So it's actually one of my favorites. Cool. All right, Laredo Junction. Let me see that one here. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna send out that challenge. And this is an asynchronous game as well. So when I'm ready and I've customized between the different character classes and anything that I want to add to that, I can just hit go, and that information will go out to the person I challenge. Right, as an async, he's got up to in this case three days to reply to that. Yeah, that's exactly it. So it's uh, as soon as you've submitted your turn, he'll have up to three days that he has to put his turn in. And if he doesn't, you automatically get the win. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But you guys, it's just all kind of uh, casual matchmaking and stuff. Yeah. So we do. Um, it is all fully ranked. So um, all matches right now do have a ranking. So you'll show as soon as you finish the match, you'll show up on the on the global leaderboard. Uh, the leaderboards we actually reset every month, so it gives you kind of a, a fresh chance to try to get to the top of the leaderboard. Oh, cool! Um, you can also kind of challenge the top guys if you want to really, you know, learn a lot about the game <laughs> in a very painful way sometimes. No doubt. Hmm, okay, so uh, I'm assuming that since I extended the invite, I take the first turn then, or well, you'll both um, oh, you'll both right. Yeah, simultaneous. Right. Yeah, that's exactly it. So he'll get the invite, and then he can he can select the invite any time. Uh, once you've submitted your first turn, you're going to wait for him to submit his his first turn, and then it's going to start kicking off. Um, uh, just submitting turns whenever you can. Cool. Okay. So I'm always blue, and he's always orange. Your opponent's always orange. Yeah. 
Cool. Okay, so why don't you, uh, while we wait for Rob to get back in here uh, into Discord, hopefully he'll have that stuff configured shortly. Um, what, uh, what are the classes we got here? So I'm looking at Gunman. He's like the uh, kind of the all round. Looks a little bit like the Hitman guy, right? Looking at the, the yeah. So <laughs> yeah, they turned out really good. Uh, so there's kind of four main classes. Um, so it's, there's the gunman, the sniper, the shotgunner, and then the bomber. Um, but actually, in each of those classes, uh, there's special abilities that really differentiate. Uh, how you play that character. Oh, really? Um, okay. We've actually got some new stuff coming uh, about that in the next couple of weeks that we're going to be talking about. Um, but it really changes up um, how you use that character and how you use combinations of characters. Um, so this game is very similar. So if you've played anything like Laser Squad Nemesis or Frozen Synapse, um, very similar concept. In fact, we wanted this game to be almost like a, like a combination of Laser Squad Nemesis and Frozen Synapse, um, really bringing in special abilities into this style of, of, of gameplay to kind of flush out your strategies and combinations of, of strategies to, to take out your opponent. Very cool. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something that was missing out of Frozen Synapse, which I played a ton of. Wow, I didn't even, I didn't even play with these uh, the other day. Are they available in the campaign? They are. So in the campaign, you'll actually unlock them as you go. That's why. Uh, so you, you kind of, uh, you know, makes allows you to come back to the original maps and try to do better with the new abilities. A little more replayability there. Very cool. All right. So I'm just uh, moving, showing my units off here in the stream. So I've got Shotgun Guy. The yeah, so the shotgunner, the shotgunner is your is your key, obviously close range. Um, so some of the special abilities uh, you'll find. So scout will actually let you sense other units through walls or that are crouched um, behind cover. Um, he'll move a lot slower when he's using the scout ability, but uh, it's really great. You can kind of march him right up somewhere in the front lines, hide around a corner, and just have him scouting. And so he's doing more than just you know shooting people right uh, point blank in the face, right? Right. No, totally fair. Crazy. Okay, and then I got Grenadier and the Sniper here. So uh, <laughs> Grenadier's fun at bouncing grenades, of course. Uh, I like the fact that he can also crouch uh, and fire over the cover. So yeah, that that's a key strategy that actually a lot of people don't realize is because um, I actually find a lot of feedback we get is the bomber is really um, underpowered, but we don't realize you can sneak him all the way up, hide him behind cover, and he can launch bombs while behind cover, yeah. which is really really important. That's crazy. Alright, so this is the, let me take a look at the level layout we got going on here. Hey, he's in the channel, okay. Uh, one sec, audio's gonna cut out, drop out to, or drop in. Alright, let's see if, uh, so, looks like back to he's back now. See if we can get into the uh, general voice channel here. Looking at this map, mm, strategic analysis. I can I can see why the uh, age match with like minute timers is for definitely players that know what they're doing. <laughs> it's stressful, no doubt. Okay, what's cool is I don't even so it's updating their last known location, right? That's the um, their little silhouettes. I don't know which characters they are. Kind of have an idea where they started, and they'll have an idea where I started too. Now these are all just my assumptions, so correct me if I'm getting stuff wrong at any point. Yep, yeah, that's exactly it. So on the first turn, you'll know precisely where they start. Um, you don't know what characters your opponent has chosen. So he could have chosen four shotgunners. He could have chosen, you know, two snipers mm, and, and right. two bombers. You don't know exactly what characters they have. Um, so it's often good to kind of send someone out to scout that out because is obviously you want to you want to have someone that can counteract whatever character you're encountering. Right. Um, right. Yeah, that's the first turn. And then after that, you're going to, you know, they're going to move around. You're only going to know where they are when you actually see them. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is an intense game. Everything takes place on a single level, right? Other than like the crouch and cover. There's no... Uh... Yeah, there's no elevation. Um, every time we try to bring elevation in the game, it got really confusing no doubt. Yep. <laughs> for everybody. Totally. So the game is complex enough, so we, we avoided the elevation. All right, so let's go some of that complexity that you're talking about here. Or as I like to say, many, many cool choices. 
All right, so every character, when you right-click on them, has this wheel uh, that has all the commands. Look, crouch, wait, hold, on sight, free fire, sprint, and scout. We're gonna make kind of good use of all of these things. How this game works is I just uh, take any one unit that I want to, and I can double-click to plot a path. Hey, Baxitron's here. Are you? Can you hear me? Does it say voice connected at the bottom in the channel? Come on, Baxitron. Get it? All right, so as an example, I can double-click and uh, I'm issuing orders. And like Steven said earlier, this is this game... Um, takes both sides and uh, does all the calculations like Frozen Synapse would and shows the results. I hope it's okay if I'm making reference to, to Synapse uh, as we go through it. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, obviously there's, you know, that between Laser Squad Nemesis and Frozen Synapse, those are our big inspirations uh, for these games. Um, yeah, absolutely. Cool, man. Yeah, because it... Uh... That's what made me pick this game up right away, is my familiarity with uh, Frozen Setups. I've never played Laser Squad, though. Sounds interesting. All right, looks like... Uh, hey, Bax, you got, can you hear us? <laughs> designers talking. <laughs> That's true. So Baxtron and I are both game designers uh, in Vancouver. Um, uh, so it's... Uh, we, we try to... You know, do streams. I, we're going to do a designer stream at some point, too, where we just do our, put our designer hats on and uh, either shout accolades or rip games apart as we see fit. But uh, this is not one of those. We're just going to have a good time. But it, we will ask designer-centric questions for the time that you're here, I'm sure. It'll creep in. All right, hold on. Baxtron said he's about to speak. He's giving me a warning. <laughs> Oh, fail. Oh, damn it. His, his stuff's not working. All right. Is your microphone configured, Bax? It's, uh... Steven, you just you just dropped right in and it worked, right? Uh, yes, but I had to set uh, which microphone I was to use, um, which I'm just typing to it now here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, is there a setting in... Uh... Yeah, under user settings, there is under voice. There's a, like a input device. You might have to choose choose which microphone to use. Cool. Hey, what's up, the man? Far Cry Primal Man. I am jealous. That game looks really badass. Uh, a good one. All right. Well, hopefully, Bax will get his uh, user settings stuff taken care of. I'm just going to issue some commands here. Uh, now, if I can't actually voice what I'm going to do, because then, you know, I know Rob's going to take full advantage of it. So <laughs> now what's really cool is I can get in here. Uh, I can issue, uh, ooh, impact grenades. Oh, they don't, uh, they don't bounce. Interesting. Yeah, there's actually three, well, actually technically four, but three main, um, different bombs you can take with a bomber. So there's impact grenades, there's high explosive grenades, which is a much larger um, uh, explosion, exploding radius. Right. And the third one is actually proximity mines. Um, proximity mines is a very interesting way to shut down certain lanes in the map. No doubt. Um, the opponent will actually see where they are. Uh, so it's not like a very sneaky proximity mine, but now they have to deal with it. Either they have to run a guy through and explode, or they have to shoot it to, to cause it to explode. But at least you now you know where they are. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, hopefully Baxtron's getting his microphone configured here. Uh, so what I did here on this, uh, so it's a one-on-one -on -one over here. I got this one guy on this one side. Yeah, I'm gonna delete this waypoint. So any waypoint I can that use, I've got. Uh, backspace to get rid of waypoints really quick. Oh, really? Awesome, man. I appreciate that tip. I was like, oh, I gotta go click on stuff. But I issued a sprint command to my gunman, so it means he can get farther and um, they'll have a longer time. He'll have a longer aim time. Um, what I can do, though, is what I want him to do is, as he's sprinting, I want him to stop here. I want him to do a quick hold on sight, uh, but I want him to look this way. Those are actually out of order. 
So as he gets here, I want him to be looking this way and we'll hold on sight. Now hold on sight means that if I if this guy spots anybody as he's running and looking that way, he'll actually stop to fire. Otherwise, he'll continue along his path. The blue segment, uh, blue portion of this line indicates how far he's going to get on this turn, which kind of leaves him open at that point. But the idea is for me to get uh, you know, around this way. So, all right, let's see if uh, Mr. Baxatron is having any luck on this. I'm glad you can hear, man. Um, Weird that there's like no voice test. And did you close Skype all the way down? It might be competing for your microphone. Hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. All right, it's okay. I'm just planning your death right now, so don't worry about it. It's uh, the the joy of async games. Uh, now, can you have multiple async games going simultaneously? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You can have. Pretty much as many as you want. Um, I usually have around five-ish going on at any one time. Cool. Um, but yeah, definitely. You can play as many as you like. All right. I like that. Means I can get all my friends. So anybody that's in the channel as well, uh, stick around to the end. I've got uh, three uh, Steam two-packs to give away uh, near the end of the stream, which is going to be a couple hours, uh, which is... Oh, they've been graciously donated from Skybox. So thank you again for that, Stephen. Uh, game definitely deserves uh, more people playing it right now so now, are you guys in you're not in full release are you uh not yet so okay. we're still in early access um we're hoping to release probably the next couple of months cool all right sounds great now let's uh all right so shotgunner's planned uh this hmm super sniper we're gonna actually Change this guy's waypoint. I can just grab that waypoint and change it, right? Yep, yep, you can drag waypoints anywhere you want. Like that. Right there. Approach. I think that bleep bloop is uh, Baxtron trying to uh, rejoin. So what's the inspiration for the music on this game? Because uh, <laughs> it's, I dig it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, again, it's, it's kind of going back to like, you know, old, old style gun battle and, you know, kind of kind of not quite Western, but, um, you know, just it's all about the gun fight and just finding music to celebrate the, the you know, the, the famous gun battles. Right. Right always been about uh, finding music around that. Totally makes sense. Get this sniper sprinting. Uh, get some lines going on. Oh, I see what you mean about the fountain, the uh, gunfight around there. cover that way all right so what I can do now is I've got everything kind of mapped out I can preview this and let's go back to the gunman and do another preview to see if he's actually following the orders that I set up for him I'm look move that way and if he does see anybody, he's going to stop and hold and fire. Now, the, the thing about um, moving while you're firing uh, is that your aim time is longer. I think that's a pretty clever system you guys used as well uh, around increasing aim time overall is kind of a uh, constant factor determining who fires first and when the stuff happens. So, yeah, it always kind of comes down to like, you know, who's who's going to win a specific battle and, and it's going to depend on distance and cover and um, whether you're moving or not, that'll all affect the aim time. Um, the other thing, too, is if you look at each unit, they actually have health points. Um, so there's going to be three hit points for each each unit. So um, sometimes if you're moving very quickly, you might only get picked off by a single bullet. So you lose one health. Um, you know, things like Sniper, they actually do three damage. Um, and this is where some of the other effects come in. So, for example, our Shotgunner, one of his perks you can pick is plus one hit point. 
oh. which normally you're like, ah, plus one hit point, what does that matter? But if you think about it, if he has four hit points, he's now the only unit in the game that can survive a sniper shot. Wow, that's pretty good. So rad. he could literally charge straight forward towards a sniper, take a hit, and still keep going and kill the sniper. So it's it, it makes a big, big difference in how you play. Wow, I like that a lot. The customization of characters is super cool. Right, so I will just take one brief pause here. I'm, I'm happy with these. I'm going to execute these orders. So it's going to process the round results. Um, looks like you can see up here in the right hand corner that Baxteron has also done his round results. So that's going to get processed and we're going to watch what the uh, how this turns out. Neat. <laughs> so I've spotted two of his units, the sniper and the gunman. I know the gunman's there. And I know that the, oh, no, no, the gunman's there. Oh crap. Okay, so now that was the last spotted location. I'm not sure where he's running to at this point. <laughs> All right, we're going to just take a quick pause here. Uh, Baxtron's going to do his move. I'm going to see why we can't hear him. I wonder if it's your gain. Like, uh, are you actually talking, Bax, and I, we just can't hear it because the. Like, turn your uh, your AEG your auto, or your AGE or whatever it is, your auto gain back on. See if that makes a difference. What if it's just your mic volume? All right. Uh, all right. So, what are some other handy um, like controller tips and tricks, like shortcuts that uh, I could make good use of? Um, so you can use spacebar to do preview. Oh, nice. um, okay. That'll 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 start uh, start and uh, pause the preview. Um, oh, I hear that's probably a book, and then the backspace, obviously. Right. Um, the other one as well is if you issue a bunch of orders on a single waypoint and you want to reorder them, you can actually select one of the orders uh, and then hit page up or page down. It'll Ooh. shift the order in the priority. Cool. I like that. Anyone too. Sorry, Steve. One second. Backstron, I uh, I heard you briefly there. Is it a mic volume? Can you hear me now? Oh, dude, I can hear you. Can hear you. You're super quiet though. Okay. Am I super super quiet? Uh, are you eating the microphone? I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Need more salt. Needs more salt. Uh, give me one second here. And I'm going to try something. Yeah, if you got to turn that auto gain thing uh. back on. Hey. Can you can you hear me now? I can hear you. You get a little bit of that whine back again, but uh, it's all good. Damn it! Hold on a sec. <laughs> At least we can hear you now. I see. How you. about now? Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. You're just a, you're quieter now, so I don't know if there's some uh, level adjustment you can make. I'm cranking my I'm cranking my microphone gain up as high as I can. So. No, uh, okay, that sounds decent. Anybody in the stream, if you can't hear Baxtron, let me know, and we'll uh, what I'll do. Ooh, what I can do. Hold on, I can individually. Hey, what's up, Jerry? How's it going? Here, I'll ch I'll change your individual user volume. And I'll try now. Okay. Hello. Yeah, that's better. Cool. Steven, can you hear him okay? Okay. Yeah, I can hear him okay. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Steven. How are you doing? Hey, good, good. How are you doing? Uh, awesome. By the way, this game's really, really cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm total, totally digging it. <laughs> that's great to hear. Uh, so, uh, anybody joining the stream? Uh, Jarius, how's it going? We got uh, we're playing Lethal Tactics by Skybox Labs. Uh, we got Stephen, who is one of the co-founders here, giving us some sweet tips. And uh, as always, the sweet Baxatron, aka Clock Nova, is uh, joining us with his mustachioed magnificence today. Um, and he's trying to kick my ass. So let's not let that happen. Uh, we got some keys to give away near the end of the stream, which will probably run for a couple hours. So sit back, relax, enjoy some Lethal Tactics. Um, so, yeah, Bax, I see your gunman there. Um, have a duel. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to zero you in so I can totally... <laughs> I can see your grenadier loud and clear hiding behind those crates over there. Oh, yeah, you can. I'm can just you? trying to... Oh, well, I think I do. <laughs> Stealth mode engaged. Um, All right. And I, I, I can see that someone's sneaking up, so... I'm going to try and, um, well, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm definitely going to, yeah, I'm issuing orders, let's put it that way. 
Fair actually, enough. just on that on that bomber thing. So if you actually look at your bomber, um, you'll see you see how he's got little um, binoculars above his head. Yep. In the far side. So actually, so that's one of the abilities that uh, one of the snipers has is once the sniper sees. Uh, it's called Scout. Once the Cypher sees one of the units, he'll continue to actually track him, even if he goes behind cover uh, for, I think it's for a couple seconds. So you can actually track units that way. And so it's warning you that he knows where your bomber is. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's a good heads up. That's a good heads up. <laughs> hey, thanks for the host, uh, host uh, Arius. Hopefully you come back later. I understand the, uh, the being an adult. Boo. All right, I, it just means I have to kill that sniper if I don't want them to track me, right? So. Must yeah. kill sniper. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you must kill my sniper. <laughs> All right. So, um, Stephen, if I... I'm, ho I'm hoping that this game... Sorry, go ahead, Rob. ...doesn't die. I'm hoping that this game doesn't end friendships. Because <laughs> it can be totally adversarial. <laughs> it's, it's starting new ones right now. It's all good. Uh, so if I had a previous order um, that wasn't fully executed, let's say that, you know, I had a number of nodes that were laid down, um, do those get reset on each successive turn so I have to reissue those, or do they are they a standing order? They do, yeah. They get reset at the end of each turn. Um, we actually did play around a little bit with having it, having it stay, but we found because as soon as you get the results back, you almost... 90% of the time you're going to want to do something else because it wasn't quite what you expected was going to happen. Right. Um, it didn't make sense then to have to go and backspace all of those orders. Um, so we found it a lot easier, more common just to have it, you know, you can issue your new orders in the next turn. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Cool. So your gunman there has the sensor ability, so he can actually fire off um, a little, little sensor that will then um, create this cone where he'll detect where anybody is um, in that cone, and it'll give you hints into where people are. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right there. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. My secret plan. Secret plan. All right. So number two is here. I need to cover that. My patience is wearing thin. I must execute orders soon. <laughs> all right, all right. Fair enough. So how do I use my special abilities again? So it, it's going to depend on the special ability. Um, so if you when you right click and bring up the wheel, anything that you can actually action on will show up in the wheel. Um, so, for example, if you had sensor for your gunman, you could launch sensors that way. Um, if you have... Um, um, scout on your shotgunner, um, you can execute it that way. But then there's there's some that are kind of either automatic or passive. So for example, your sniper, um, the, the ability to um, uh, you know, spot units and carry that spot over, that happens automatically. It's not something you have to turn on. Same thing with the shotgunner who has the breach ability, which lets them crash through the weak barriers. Um, he will do that automatically and pathfind automatically through that and smash through them automatically. That's pretty awesome. All right, man. I'm I'm waiting. I want to see how this turns out. Oh, so good. The anticipation is uh, a real driver. Yeah, it's my favorite part of these games. That's why I love simultaneous style games. Is it's that it's that results phase. It's like you don't know what's going to happen. Yep. Very very cool. All right. I All got... right. Here it goes. Yeah, here we go. I'm, gonna, I'm watching this <laughs> over here. <laughs> All right, so I've got uh, the salt bounties for me today are kills, first kill, a win. Uh, if I do anything awesome, there's the standard toast command. And then, of course, for new followers, I'm giving 50 salt to everybody in the channel. We'll get, let's get a train going on today. No one's dead yet? What? Hold on. I got to see how that turned out. I was, like, too busy watching. There's so many things going on. How do I replay that round? Uh, so you just hit back on the on the round uh, counter and then hit preview again. It'll show you what happened. Cool. Grenade out. Oh, somebody shot something. I heard a shot at the end. That. Oh, 
Oh, damn. <laughs> Our gunmen are firing at each other. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> nice. Right. Somebody's drawing a beat on somebody. Whether it's you or me or there's a bullet mid-flight there. It looks like there's a bullet mid-flight. Yeah, there's. I'm going to have to... Oh. Hey, bullet time special ability. Totally. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling Neo here. I'm going to I'm eager to see what happens here. Uh Let's do that. If I survive. All right. Mm, hold on a sec here. I got to get the one of the things that I find a, a little bit of a challenge is just making sure that I get the order of operations for exactly what I want them to do. That's, you know, like, do I want them to change the direction they're looking before they stand up? Stuff like that. Right. Yes, one thing that can help with that is if you've issued the orders on the on the waypoint, you can actually select one of the orders and then hit page up or page down, and it'll reorder it in the priority. Oh, cool. It'll save you having to like backspace all of them or like delete all of them and add them again in the order you in the the order you want. That's pretty a cool. very useful shortcut. Oh, so you were talking about hit points earlier, Stephen. Is that on the character portrait on the right hand side? Those three boxes. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I'm already down. You hit me once with a bullet. Sorry, backs. Bullet time. Can I uh, clamber over windowsills? No, but oddly enough, that's one of the like most common features we've had, or com common request for feature we've had. Everyone keeps asking us that, but not currently. That's right. Cool. This is the sniper's ability. Oh, just a spot, right? Okay. I can so some of the other abilities for the sniper, there's the, a vanish, so you actually can disappear from sight for a small period of time. It lets you position yourself much better without uh, in too much of harm's way. That's pretty cool. Um, which which I really like. I really like that one. All right, let's preview this. I like the fact that I can insert a waypoint really easily. <laughs> this is going to be intense on this next one. Oh, good times. All right. How you doing there, Baxtron? Good. I'm just trying to plan out your destruction. <laughs> As always. Thank you, sir. Did we both Can throw we sensors out? Oh, we totally both threw sensors out. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm gonna totally destroy you. Okay, let's go. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm changing my my uh, my lethal tactics here. Oh, uh, I gotta we gotta watch how this goes down. Glorious. All right, let's execute. And by execute, I mean kill you. <laughs> I like the fact that it covers destructible as well. Lots of uh, grenades out for that. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're doing it. There we go. Processory. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, damn. Uh, what was that over there? I was busy watching the gunman fight. Okay, I gotta go back. Why did he? Why did he change the way he was looking? That was just goofy. What did I do wrong? What happened here? Oh, damn! You firing grenades there? Oh, oh crap! This is not going to end well. Oh, shit.
I like the uh, some of the ragdoll physics you have in here. It made me laugh so hard yesterday. I captured that <laughs> the YouTube video I posted where the shotgunner came up right behind one of the guys that was running in the campaign. I like the generic enemies, and he shotgunned him so hard he did probably uh, like a quintuple flip off the map. It was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the ragdoll super fun. All right. Well, I don't know where your guy went to. What does Free Fire do? I couldn't figure that out yesterday. So Free Fire is, so it has two main uses. Uh, the first is it can take out either cover or um, the weak barriers. So if you look at, there's a few places where there's kind of like boards that are crossing up um, doorways. <clears throat> so either the breaching shotgunner can smash through it or you can do Free Fire into it for, um, depending on the unit you're using, it's usually a couple shots to break it open. So if you don't have a breaching shotgun and you want to get in through one of those doorways, that would be the way to do it. The second one, and this is kind of a, our throwback to uh, Laser Squad Nemesis, is really good players can free fire in spots where they think the enemy's going to end up. Oh. And you can pull out incredible sniper kills without having to spend all the aim time if you know exactly where that unit, where you think you know where he's going to be. Wow. That's some high level play right there let me tell you yeah we, we use it a lot in the office <laughs> free fire is a go-to for me yeah. all right fair enough we've had some people try the spam approach where they basically take all their units and they just free fire just constantly down you know hallways and and through doors and sometimes it works Oh, interesting. Look, I could throw the. All right. Yeah, let's see. It works here. <laughs> I'm plotting okay, your demise. I'm... You ready? I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah. All right. I want to see. I love. I love the anticipation this game goes. Oh, that's so good. It's awesome. <laughs> I need that first. I need that first kill bounty. Come on. Fall into my trap. My dastardly trap. I'm probably just gonna get sniped right in the head. Oh shit! Yeah, oh. double kill. <laughs> Let's go down I'm for the replay. For... Let's go down for the replay on this one. You got a dirty two for. I got a dirty two for. <laughs> Or let's award some salt to the uh, the the uh, chat here. Let me see. First kill bounty, and then an extra one. That's twenty five. All right, stick around. You're gonna need that salt later to win some of these copies of Lethal Tactics. Uh, salty, salty, salty. Welcome to the salt pits, my friends. All right, let's uh, let's go back and preview that uh, previous round. Oh, straight through the window. All right. Damn, my grenadier got rocked as well. Oh, well, the sniper took him out first, I think. Oh, did he? That was it's like yeah. yeah. Your your grenade was your grenade was launched, and then I had my shotgunner sprint up <laughs> just in case you were backing out of the way. Yeah. And so that's so good. Foolishly, I thought, hey, there's there's no way that you're gonna just you know drop a pineapple at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> You've underestimated me yet again. <laughs> <laughs> but but sadly I was wrong, so that that explosive avocado ended up costing me two uh, two fine soldiers in my battle against tyranny. Yeah, yeah, it's a great bad. forward flip of that sniper. No, that was I put the grenade behind him because I didn't I didn't want to be caught in the blast radius. I was trying to run over to this area here. I said, watch that again. Yep, just diving through the window, <laughs> and then my sniper takes it. <laughs> It's even it's even better when you tweak the speed down. It's it's just oh, hilarious. Do Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. There's a speed control right above the play bar. So if you crank it down to 25, and what happened was your sniper actually ended up 
taking out my shotgunner because you had LOS on him. Glorious. Yeah, Wait pretty cool. Oh. oh. <laughs> Good animations, too. Damn, that was awesome. All right. Let's, uh, let's up the speed. So, Steven, I'm just curious. Was this built in Unity, or did you use a different pl platform, your own propriety or Terry engine, or...? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, this is all in Unity. Um, we uh, we made a few modifications to a few systems that maybe Unity doesn't normally provide to kind of get where we wanted to go. But uh, yeah, it's all done in Unity. Cool. cool. Okay. Yeah. We um, we actually do all the um, simulation side of the game all on the server side. So it actually um, it gives us a little bit of flexibility to be able to bug fix without having to push out um, client updates. Um, but also the biggest thing is it makes it almost, I want to say impossible to cheat, but very, 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 very difficult to cheat. Nice. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. Back to servers, man, let me tell you. Space to clear the last one. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right here. So if anybody's got any questions in the chat, uh, fire them out. Uh, if I can't answer them, then uh, we've got an expert here for at least a little while longer. What's been the. Uh, okay. This is like a really emergent kind of uh, system. Stuff that you guys have here. What's the craziest thing you've seen so far, Stephen? Craziest thing I've seen. Yeah, that's not a bug, because you know bugs always make awesome, crazy things. But <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm trying to think. We've had some pretty, pretty interesting games. Um, I think uh, one of the ones I remember is, uh, you know, I had a I had a shotgunner that was hunter, hunkered down behind um, kind of this like semicircle of cover, and and I knew my opponent was bringing his shotgunner. Uh, around and so I was basically looking. I was basically look, wait, look, wait, look, wait um, on either side because I knew he would come out on either side. But I forgot that he had a breaching shotgunner. This was breaching shotgunner just breached through the barrier behind me and then just picked me off right in the back. It was actually oh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We find some other stuff is, you know, how you can bounce grenades around. Um, so some of the community members are so good at this game. They found areas in the map that you can use the physics to bounce the grenades, not just left or right, but up and over top of walls. What? Um, and so <laughs> we, we, we first looked at that. We're like, oh, wow, this actually technically it's a bug. Like we don't we didn't want that, but they use it so much. And it's become such a core part of certain maps that we're like, ah, let's just leave it in. Like, it's actually super cool when you see it done. In the uh, prison map, map, there's a place you can. There's a bunch of tables. You can actually bounce the grenades on top of the tables, and they they kind of bounce one on either either one, and and uh, it looks quite cool when they're bouncing up in the air. That's awesome. So it would appear my range of choices has been severely limited all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> since I, I only have one character alive and standing now. Um, <laughs> So let's see if I can get tricky here. All right, yeah, get tricky. I like how you're just shooting through that cover, though. That was good. What order was that when you did that? Uh, that was just um, the sustained fire. I don't know what it's called again. Uh, That's cool. You know where you just shoot at something over and over and over again. <laughs> I've only been playing the game for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about shooting. I gotta tell you right now, I love it. This is I can see I can see playing this quite a bit. It's really really fun. All right, is there friendly fire in this game? 
Uh, no friendly fire except for grenades. Okay, yeah. I've definitely killed myself with grenades, so it's always a good one. Oh, we all have many times. <laughs> oh, good times. All right. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm ready. Watch. Let's watch this go down. Got him. <laughs> oh shit, I got some XP leveled up. That. I'm now a volunteer. Cool, yeah. so when I share a match, how does that work? Uh, so basically, you can share it with another uh, user and it'll pop up in their notifications and they can go and watch that match to see what happened. That's cool. Let's, let's, let's view the replay. Glorious full. Okay, first, we'll we'll watch it a few times. Here's the uh, here's the gunman fight. Careful, careful, he's moving. Oh, that's where you were. Now I get to see what you were doing the whole time, which is pretty awesome. Get, or, here, I'll go back to 100%. One shot off on me. It's quite the show down there for a second. It was. Oh, all right. And do I go back all the way to round? I just do a preview again to see what happened. Yeah. We all know how the action happened over here. I got her backs out. There for some support here. There comes the flip. There's the flip. There's the snipe. Oh. <laughs> Hot damn, that was amazing. Let's do it again. <laughs> that was super fun. Alright, we gotta go back to the main menu. Looks like. Alright, cool. Yeah, round complete. Alright, let's give away some more salt. I won that one. I uh, got two more kills, so that's a... Uh, we only awarded the first one. 15 plus a win is a total of 40. Like I said, you guys, I want to stick around for some uh, chances to win these awesome uh, some Steam keys of this game. Right now, though, I think there's so, a... Go ahead. One of the things I'm wondering is, uh, you know, in terms of the character base, are you going to be expanding it, kind of MOBA style, by adding new characters as drops? Yeah, so we're, we're definitely looking at some additional uh, character types. Um, we wanted to kind of get all this stuff balanced first. Um, the, the abilities is really where we're kind of looking at differentiating things a little bit and changing up how you play the core uh, aspect of the game. Um, but we've got a couple different uh, new character classes that we're looking at and possibly layering them in just sort of um, as future updates to the game. And then are you also looking at doing like different types of snipers, gunmen, grenadiers, that sort of thing? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear that last question. Are you are you looking at doing different types of snipers, grenadiers, gunmen, that sort of thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So adding. Um, we kind of look at that as adding additional abilities to, to those character classes. Um, I think we're definitely looking at some of those. Um, we've been experimenting with a few things um, to uh, kind of mix it up a bit, but uh, we're pretty happy with the core platform we have right now. Uh, and I think as we, we're going to continue to layer things on top of it as we go. Cool. Like that, I actually did a different set of abilities in my, uh, my character configurations, though. I'm gonna surprise you with some special, special stuff. All right, so I picked the farm. Ooh, All right. So you got one guy that's starting way over there. Interesting. Now, are the spawns randomized as well? So you can choose. Um, when you choose a map, there are there's a basically what's 
we call mines, which is not randomized spawns anywhere in the map. It's randomized deployments. Right. And so if you when you hit uh, the options, there's a couple different deployments. There's like opposites or scattered or, or different. This I think it's usually around four or five per map. Um, so random will be randomly picking one of those deployments. Um, we found it wasn't really fun if we just scattered your units all over the map. It didn't really make sense. Um, but we didn't want to have the same deployment each time. Right. Makes sense. How long do I have to fire through a barrier to destroy it? So for the gunman, I think it's around a, uh, two or three seconds. Um, it's actually one of the changes we're most likely going to be making to the game is um, not having a slider on the free fire. Is we're going to have each free fire action be a burst of shots. And usually it'll be two free fires to take out most barriers. We find it's one of those things that people are struggling with a bit, so we might we actually change that. Right. I'm gonna do now. Shotgunner. On this map, I like to try to take uh, six shotgunners instead of a nice equal balancer, or sorry, a, a four, four or five shotgunners, <laughs> and just run down one of the sides of the maps, just trying to catch my opponent off guard. It's worked uh, a couple times, doesn't cool. always work. I like that. Yeah, let's see, I guess you can just go for the, you can absolutely adapt to like the running gun style kind of thing if you wanted to, right? Yeah. This barn on fire. Totally is. That's awesome. All right, let's make sure I got everybody planned for here. Looks good. Let's execute that. <clears throat> okay, I'm I'm ready. All right, let's do it. See what kind of badness we can get going on here. Uh oh. <laughs> I got a couple spots. The sniper's ability. Let's see what she got. So sni the sniper you've got is is marksman. So marksman is a faster aim time when you're looking. Um, it's only when you're looking in a certain direction. It's actually be a narrower cone of vision. Um, it actually, if you highlight it with your mouse, it'll actually tell you also the details. Of the Just hilarious. All right, I, well, I got spotted by the sniper. Okay. So how do I? He's got a. Uh, so my gunman's got an outstanding um, free fire order. Mm -hmm. He's going to continue to do that until, like, I can't change that, right? 
Yeah, once you've committed to an action, um, something that takes a period of time, it has to finish that action. Right. So the same thing is true also with the gunner or the bombers. Sorry. Right. So if the bomber was like in the middle of firing a, a grenade, he needs to finish that first. Right. Cool. All right, let's do one thing on the stream here real quick. Uh, let's go to do a quick uh, let's do a quick bet here. Who's gonna win this one? Let's uh, allow people to bet some of that salt, that hard-earned salt. Who's gonna win this one? Is it gonna be um, Aclorox or Baxitron? Hey, you can vote for that in the chat channel. You got about uh, five and a half minutes to make your choice. Nobody's dead yet, so you know it all works out. You'll see that in the uh, <laughs> yet yet. Uh, we're, we're counting on it, aren't we? <laughs> For this next one. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm, let's, see what's, let's see what's going on over here. That cover's destructible, which makes me worry. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that again in slow oh, motion. Totally. You just see that in slow mo. <laughs> I got super sniped. Oh, okay. There's a couple, a couple of things we got to watch here. Go back. This game is going to be so much fun to stream. Holy crap! Blow that down. Okay. Here comes the proximity mine. <laughs> We're almost right under the truck. Oh, right. wow. So I've only seen three of your units at this point. Watch the, uh, I want to see where this guy gets, gets sniped from. Oh, sniper's just looking right there. Aim. Boom. One shot. Holy crap. All right. I went down like a sack of potatoes on that one. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. That's no, weird. Although, I've seen that sniper. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong round. Never mind. Okay, cool. I could watch people play this game all day. I know, right? It's so different every time, I imagine, right? Yeah. We had uh, we had a tournament at one point at work, and the entire office um, was participating, and it went all day, and basically everyone was crowded around watching the final matches. It was it was awesome. It was super exciting. That's rad. Well, that's the, that's what you want at, in any good game, right? In any studio, you want your people playing in your game. here the fact that you guys have done it deterministic as well right so the get the, the replayability and the social media share stuff is such an awesome hook yeah we actually have um we have a couple of things if, if anyone follows our uh, twitter feed we've got the delicious kill of the day which is just you know because our rag all so it's just, you know some interesting things you know from the matches we've been playing and then we actually also have uh, tactical Tuesdays where we actually do an analysis on some of the matches um, either from the community or the matches we've been playing and we'll go through um, you know some of the more interesting aspects of it um, so we do that every Tuesday we post that to our YouTube and to our Twitter channel so good all right okay Dan. I'm ready all right you ready Let's do this good okay sounds mm -hmm. good ready all right. Wow, Revlobot is spamming in this chat right now. All right, nobody's betting against anybody at this point. I want to see what happens to your sniper. Oh, sneaky, sneaky sniper.
so much thoughtful planning. It's like, okay. You're gonna get me on this one? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I like about it. this. This because because you have like you have this um you know half board state most of the time with only a partial awareness of what's happening on on your end of the board. Like the the Yomi aspect of this is really interesting. So I'm I'm just just I just keep trying to guess what you're going to do next. Uh, it's very true. Right, I got one totally unknown, unspotted person over here. Always a concern. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Oh, much narrower look for sure. Hmm. <laughs> we ready? No, I gotta change something. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this, okay? I think that contest closed with nobody in it. Okay, right. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's see what happens. It, I did not expect that. Damn, you're a sniper. How'd that sniper snipe my uh, coach, dude? Well, it's like I had clear line of sight to him um, through cover. Interesting. Oh, what? Oh, you took two snipers, you sneaky. Here I am not even considering that you took a different uh, non-default layout. I'm like, <laughs> how do you snipe me? Your sniper's right there. Yeah, I see you. That's that's right, that's right. My my chessboard has more than one bishop on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. It's all bishops, no pawns. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, so that other sniper is like, Invisible. Which other one's that? Mine? Yeah, your sniper. I, I don't know where your other sniper is. Wrong round here? Alright, I need to be able to pick that sniper. Can't pick that sniper to uh, move them, unfortunately. Something. Am I on the wrong round? Uh, try selecting another unit and then coming back to that one. Well, they both don't seem like they're selectable. I wonder if I've messed something up, though. That's odd. If you double click somewhere? We are a, a Bax. We're on uh, round five, right? At twelve. That is correct, sir. Maybe you actually ran into a bug. You should be able to leave the match and then come back and see if maybe that lets you. Right. Um, How do I do that? Here. Um, just in the the little gear on the top left hand side. All right. So return to that. Oh, that's good. I get to actually see where my so my matches. And this one is ongoing right here, so I can just double click that one and load it back in. Sweet. Easy peasy. Alright. Cool. I see that you're in here watching. You want to win a copy of your own game? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's uh, this must not be the uh, the prime time, or uh, we might have to run uh, the contest when there's actual people watching the stream.
okay though. I'm happy to play this game again. Now, let's see if that uh, fixed my, my issue here. Oh, weird. Oh, really? Uh, I can't uh, select the units. Oh, you know what? I'm yeah, yeah, I win by Dean Felt. Awesome. <laughs> you. <laughs> I wonder if. Uh... Alright, hold on. I'm gonna let it play to the end. That was the end of the current round that I'm on. I wonder if I'm a round behind? We should be on round five. So one of the things is if you look at your, it could be that you're looking at round four and you're just stuck in round four. No, Have I'm you in, tried to scroll into round five? Round or? I'm in round five right now. I mean, well, I'm just going to execute so orders on this. I uh, might want to try closing down the game and reopening it. Okay, we'll try that, that again. Might, uh, fix it. I'm going to make a note of this bug. Make sure QA takes a look at it. Sure thing. <laughs> you can use the uh, VOD as reference. It's all good. <laughs> seen this one before. Oh, shit. I knew that was going to happen. All right. I'm clearly in the new round at this point. All right, yeah, I can't select any of my, my guys. Yeah, I would try maybe um, closing just closing the, the app and then reopening it. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, bring it up, exit to desktop. Oh, I get to see my beautiful uh, background. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, where is Lethal Tactics? Good. Holy smokes. Oh, poop. Okay, hold on one sec. I have to... There's a tool that I use because of my, my splits here to... Uh... Keep, uh, I put it in window mode, but on. <clears throat> now we just need to window this. So one of the things I'm curious about, there's like this really um, interesting structure. It's a low shed um, that's part of the map. And it looks like you'd be able to run through it, but you can't. Um, I'm wondering if you do have interactive buildings in other scenarios, or do you try to restrain it to something that doesn't have a ceiling? Um, yeah, so we, we, we tried to be... Um, I, I know it does kind of look like you can, you should be able to run through it. Um, it didn't quite make sense for that that map to to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it also, when you play the um, the missions, there's actually this mission where you have to go and try to blow up this this big tanker that's right beside that building. So it kind of all ties into it. Um, but yeah, we don't have any structures where you're going underneath. Um, we did worry a little bit about losing your characters um, when you're going underneath uh, certain parts of the map. Um, so visibility so with that overhangs focus. and that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, gotcha. Um, I'm just curious because um, when you look at games like XCOM or more traditional turn-based games, they sometimes make some interesting uses of terrain. What was your general approach to terrain when you were developing the title? Um, so for us, we really just wanted to make interesting places to have a gunfight. Um, the, 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 really the, the big thing for us, it's, it's like, what a convenient place to have a gunfight. What a convenient place to have that truck parked. Like, rather than look <laughs> at realism or, you know, hey, does this, why would a farm have two front loaders? Like, why, that doesn't make any sense. Like, rather than going down those, you know, those types of discussions, it's, it's like, well, what would be fun? What would be a neat way? Like, how do we want this map to play? And then what elements can we put in there just to make it feel thematic? That was right. really our, our core kind of design goal around that. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be fun. That's exactly it. Yeah, I get behind that design philosophy for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gamers don't care if it makes sense. Otherwise, why would I be playing like, a, you know, half-cat wizard that shoots snot 
out of for spells. I don't know. The, doesn't What's that game? Let's play that game. That sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you heard it here yeah, first. That's, that's uh, my... It's my next game I'm designing. <laughs> It's not, not cat wizards. Yes, it's not, not cat wizards. <laughs> sounds like uh, it's not cat wizards of her. Yeah, uh, it sounds like it would be something that uh, they put into what's that cryptozoic's uh, uh, Mount Skullsfire. Oh, uh, Mount Skullsfire, yeah. Epic, uh, epic like a... with battles. Oh, so good. Yeah. You know, are you a board gamer at all? Uh, I am. Yes, I've I have quite the collection of board games that are still in shrink wrap but i do yeah. i do i own more than i play for sure welcome to the club <laughs> <laughs> every time I, I look at uh like going to a local game store and picking something up i just i go to my game shelf and go that one's in shrink wrap i'll just buy that one right now mm -hmm. yep it's it's really bad when you get a game board game order and you realize that you've got you ordered board games you already owned Oh. That's when it's oh. that's when it's really, really bad. I swear, honey, it was it's a gift for a friend. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I need two copies of this. It's, it'll get worn out. We'll play it so much. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was my excuse for Netrunner, though. I had a, I had a good reason to buy multiple copies. Of that. Uh, no, that's that's fair for sure. Netrunner is a great game. Yeah. All right, man. I'm patiently waiting for uh, your sneaky sniper tactics here. Figuring out your best lanes of cover, or what? I am figuring out how to effectively use the smoke from your grenade. Does that provide cover? Uh, smoke does not provide cover. Although we have been talking about that a little bit. That's pretty cool. Some environmental. Oh, effects. I totally should. I totally <laughs> should, so I could win this match. <laughs> you got two snipers, man. I don't know how much of a chance I stand. Oh well, I'll be sneaky. I got six rounds to try to. Uh... I need like a. Uh, I need a wall run, and then a uh, slide kick action. <laughs> can get very, uh, very actiony too, just to, like in terms of the narration. Oh, so good. Hey Bax, did you see that um, that video that I linked out to you, you and uh, Drinky and Rangrave of uh, the live the draw cast I did of that rainbow game? <laughs> no, but but um, from what I understand, it's it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> That's so uh, good. Rachel was Rachel was watching it last night. My my daughter and she she was having a a chuckle. Oh, for sure. That was uh, I posted it on the uh, Rainbow Reddit, and uh, it's got like 350 views. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I know. Fantastic. Oh, uh, that was so fun. All right, here we go. Let's let's watch. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, that wasn't exciting. Now my sniper's out in the open. That's <laughs> all right. I'm just going for it. I'm. I got a plan. I'm executing. You can't stop me. Get with bullets. Some, uh, give some kudos to your VFX team there too. They made some good-looking smoke that has to be paused, uh, like mid. Like it's uh, gotta be able to look at it from all different angles. So, yeah, yeah that went through a lot of iteration. I'm <laughs> glad we only have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that went through a lot of iteration. That one. Definitely big and worthy. Waiting for opponent. All right, so everybody on the stream can see I'm my just... plan, right here. I'm just waiting for a, an opportunity here. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. All right, here goes everything. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm ready, man. No, I'm coming for you. I'm taking turns that fast. You know what I'm doing. 
Oh wait, you don't. Waha. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're watching the stream. Uh, you wouldn't do that. Sneaky, sneaky. But I'm interested to see... Um, that's a different thought. Just around turn-based games, I was thinking uh, what um, Airbrain's going to do, what Jordan's going to do with uh, Battletech now, that Kickstarter. It's an exciting time for, for turn-based games. Like, there's so much good stuff on the horizon. So much good stuff that recently got released. It's a great, great time. Especially since you're, you know, this game and Synapse and uh, to some extent Secret Ponchos. Uh, you know, they all have that kind of um, actiony kind of feel, right? Where you're bringing turn-based, but it's not like the I move a piece, you move a piece. It's bringing it to life. Right? There's animations, everything looks awesome. Even though you're planning your stuff, there's just a level of fidelity around that planning that lends itself to interesting things that just happen. Yeah, it's 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 definitely what I like about these, you know, the, the simultaneous style of the turn-based games. You're no longer just reacting to what your opponent's doing. You know, in XCOM, like, and I love XCOM. You're always just kind of reacting to what the enemy's doing. Um, whereas this, you now a lot more prediction, a lot more kind of crazy things can happen. It kind of brings that action piece back into the turn base a little bit. Absolutely. Well, part of it too is that you end up being more like the anticipation of what your opponent is going to do really affects your your strategy from second to second. And it's it's not like a you go I go game, where it's like I think I'm kind of saying what you just said, which is. You're not responding to like someone else's output when they're when they're making a tactical decision. Yeah, there's no downtime for players, right? Or it's minimized. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's you know the biggest problem I have about some of those you go I go board games as well. It's like okay, the level of strategic the, the amount of choices that you have really, and if if the person is taking a long time to decide, then I can go make dinner while you make a choice, and that's just. I don't know. I, I'm too old to play those games now. I need, uh, I have very little time and I'd, uh, maybe it's not an age thing. It's just, I just have very little time. I want to be involved and engaged 100% of my games. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the, the, you know, I'm hoping just with, you know, the recent announcements, like obviously with Frozen Synapse 2 and Atlas Reactor and, you know, Lethal Tactics and, and a couple other games in the simultaneous style. We're hoping it's bringing a lot more attention to this this type of game. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of amazed. We were at the we were at PAX Prime um, with with Lethal Tactics, and I was amazed at all the people we talked to, uh, people that even had played Frozen Synapse or Laser Squad back in the day. They didn't really understand what the difference was between the way XCOM plays and the way something um, like this or, or Synapse plays in the simultaneous way. And once you kind of explain it to them, they're like, "Oh, I never thought about it that way." Mm -hmm. So it's it's never been like in the forefront when we talk about turn-based games. So hoping really with you know all the recent announcements of all these great games that uh it's gonna become a lot more forefront in people's minds about the different types of turn-based games yeah no i'm super excited i mean when uh bax and i were working on mechware tactics as well we tried to do you know a sync or a simultaneous turn action mm -hmm. but we only got really halfway because there was no ai or logic around um, and fidelity of control and command to allow units to have this kind of uh, pseudo AI, right? To be able to stop and fire and, and be smart. It was just kind of, uh, I'm going to fire at that guy. I'm going to move here. And then, you know, that stuff got resolved. So it was really only got kind of, you know, a half design for that as we yep. adapted the you go, I go board game. But uh, definitely this kind of game is in my DNA for sure. I gotta say, I like the theme too, uh, quite a bit. Uh, an underused genre, really, in this kind of that, uh, like you say, the south of the border gun gunslinger gunfights. Yeah, we just wanted to focus purely on just it's this fantastic gun battle, and just distill down to that's basically the the core game. Um, you know, there's no leveling up. There's no, you know, unbalancing anywhere. It's all just about outwitting your opponent in this 
crazy looking gun battle. Well, you really get to um, an esport opportunity as well, right? I think there's there's definitely I think almost in the casual esport maybe like I, we find that a lot of people play this game in between other games um, like we all have like crazy busy lives it's just way too many video games to play um, but you know even between your League of Legends matches or you know whatever you're playing there's always time to throw a couple turns in especially if it's an async match in this highly competitive um, battle um, simulation totally yeah I get that. It's the um, specifically referencing though that there's no kind of progression for players. That everybody starts at the same level, kind of a level playing field, right? Then it's really a, a purely a skill based game. Yeah, that's my preference usually on games. <laughs> that makes sense. Where are you hiding, Backstrong? We're about to find out. Here we go. There we go. Do it. I'm waiting for you, man. We're gonna we're gonna get this done. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm either gonna win or gonna get a sniper down. If anybody is new in here, we're streaming a little bit of Lethal Tactics, uh, and we're joined by Backstron and Steven from Skylabs. So, go. Hmm. Now it's interesting. So if you're looking at my here Steven you'll see this in a second but I have um, visual verification of the previous location but the uh, the silhouette's still there is that meant to disappear once I have I know that that targets not there or will it stay there it, it will stay there um, as a reminder because it'll show you the number of seconds you saw him uh, from that last position oh, um, I see that we, there now. we don't move it because we're not sure like we don't have anywhere to move it to because you don't know exactly where they are um, but you know they're not there Right. Okay, that's cool. But uh, one thing, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but you can actually shoot orders to the enemy units, to the orange units, and so you can simulate how far they could have gotten. Oh. Um, and test everything on that. Totally. So you can shoot orders, you can move them around, you can hmm. do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I ran across that by accident when I was playing through the first couple of missions, and I, I found it actually a really useful tool. Um, I, I think it's the kind of thing that I would use more when I'm playing by mail. Mm -hmm. um, but it was definitely like... Okay. Oh, all right. Looks like you won. Uh, no, I didn't win. Oh, you got way more kills than I did. Like, three, three, three to two. Oh, I, I won. I'm getting a results of victory. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I want to. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm flipped around here. Uh, no worries. I went up to level nine though. Apparently. Rank nine. Uh, nice. Rank, rank nine. Rank nine. Let's, so that's. Your your world rank, not your not your uh, class or, or your, your level. Have a look at the replay here. For your uh... yeah, there's an unfortunate death on this other sniper over here. I'm right, gonna see what your your snipers were doing. Oh, you're trying to end run me. Nice. <laughs> oh, look at you, Mr. Dirt across a clearing. <laughs> I had to go for it, man. Oh, that was a that was a couple of turns from mayhem. That was awesome. Yeah. I was clenching my cheeks as we ran across that opening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you weren't expecting me though. You were definitely aimed the other way. Oh yeah, for sure. A couple more turns, it would have been good. That was awesome. <laughs> Who's got? You got time for another one? Yeah, for sure. All right, tie one more. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Cool. All right, I will find Baxtron and I will issue a challenge. Let's um, want to play with more characters, less characters. Oh, let's just keep it the same. I'm just getting used to the game. All right, so. team size. Now, what map do you want to do? We've got a bunch of ones here. Uh, ooh, we get like a parking lot one. That sounds looks pretty crazy. Okay, let's do it. All right. And I changed the deployment settings because we've got 
Opposite sides east, west, uh, B, random, opposite sides A. Do you like the three and one, or do you want to do sides? Let's do three and one. Okay, so that's the random. Mix it up, makes it a little more interesting. And yeah, we'll go to 15 rounds on this one. So that deployment strategy, how did you discover that over the course of development? Uh, for the different deployments? Yeah. Um, so we we knew that just randomly scattering players around the map wasn't going to be very interesting. Um, so we kind of purposely picked um, different deployments per map that would be interesting and and you know set you up for some you know interesting strategic options. Uh, so basically, the random part of it just randomly picks one of those deployments instead of randomly putting you out throughout throughout the map. Pretty cool. We also want to make sure that you don't, you know, because if you go random, there's always a chance that you're going to have a drop on another unit, like you're just facing him, ready to kill him right away. So we didn't want, to, we don't want to make sure that never happens. That's, that's not very fun. Oh, holy crap! All right, this is going to be super interesting. We got like four per side over here. This is a crazy huge map. Wow. Yeah, it's a big map. Very cool. Or this uh, garbage dump. Lots this, of cover. The sinkhole over here just reminds me instantly of uh, uh, freaking the division coming up next week. The, the uh, cleaner stuff. Uh, hype for that game. All right. So what? Uh, I guess everything blocks line of sight here, eh? Cars. Yep. Yeah, all the cars will block line of sight. Um some of the uh barrier the low barriers there will be cover um every oh, once yes, in a yeah. while and i can't remember if on this map has it um definitely the train yard has it but there's certain like pickup trucks that will be half like the back part of the pickup truck will be full block line of sight unless you destroy the barriers on top and then it'll be cover at that point um i can't remember if this one has it, it might but definitely the train yard has it cool Where can I get to? I like how what you guys have done here too as I move my um if I issued a look order and I'm moving my note around, I can actually see where I'm gonna looking great mm. yeah it helps a lot there's a lot less finicky moving stuff trying moving trying when we uh, first launched into early access uh, last year there was a couple community members and one specifically that was became just exceptionally good at the game and we actually learned a lot um, seeing how he played the game and, and we actually adjusted our game quite a bit based on that so oh, as a shout out we actually put um, so his, his his handle was the red one we actually if you look through some of the signs you see like the the red one seafood restaurants we put a little shout out to him in the in this <laughs> map actually that's awesome oh it looks like my uh, shotgunner is gonna get stuck on this uh Yes, so that's that's a bug we've actually got fixed in our in our latest build that we haven't deployed yet. But uh, that specific cover, and there's one on the other side as well. Um, you just have to you have to work you have to have to walk around it. Right. So if you double click and place a waypoint, just drag it to a little bit to the, to the side. He'll walk around it. But that is a very known bug. All right, I'm excited for this one. Like, oh man, just the 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 difference in environments playing, you know, east to west, north to south, across. Like the the tactical options here are fantastic. Small teams, big teams. This is uh, I'm excited. Got in to get first kill and give sweet sweet salt to the stream. 
my confidence, you know. That's all I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just waiting for you, man. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Round results are in. All right. No eyes on, no eyes on. Now that you guys have uh, had a chance to play the game a bit, I'm curious uh, to hear your thoughts on any suggestions, improvements, anything that immediately stands out. Hmm. For me, um, the only thing that I've noticed that has been a bit cumbersome is sometimes I'll get this drift on my camera, mm -hmm. where it just seems to go in one direction. And I'm not sure if that's my particular setup or not, but uh, having to kind of snap back is a bit frustrating. Mm -hmm. oh, the uh, when I do the when the round execute comes in, uh, does it stay on my current camera or does it switch cameras? I think in it switch. It will zoom your camera out a little bit, okay. but it'll always be in the in the same orientation that you had it um, before the round results came in. Okay, cool. That's good then, because I can just pretty much zoom right back in. All right, here we go. Oh, you're ready, ready. All right. This could be quick. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened there? I think one of the things that I'm encountering a little bit of difficulty with, and this could just be my, could be my mouse, I'm not sure, but being able to manipulate the waypoints and to edit orders on waypoints while I'm, you know, trying to get the order of operations correct, etc. I find that just a little bit on the finicky side. Mm -hmm. and I think the UX there is, I mean, it's, it's solid once once I knew how to use page up, page down to reorder things. Um, but uh, I, I feel like even even when I zoom in to get close to the menu elements, it, it's still a little bit, um, still a little, little bit difficult. So maybe like, like a little bit larger UI elements to kind of help. I think so. Even if they dynamically scale up so I can grab what I'm hovering over and like drag that around. Yeah. Yeah, that would really be cool. That's good feedback. Oh, who died? Totally missed that. Oh, I lost a, I lost a gunman. From the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it was that explosion. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh crap. <laughs> I did definitely did not order the uh, the hold on. Like, there's a little bit of scaling, I think, on this that that really helps to identify what I'm hovering over. But in edit mode, I feel like. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Right, how many guys? Did I killed one. There's the other three. That's a lot going on.
All right, let's see how this goes down. I'm eagerly awaiting for my opponent. Here we go. Sensor. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong way. I think if there's anything else. I'm just eager to play more of it, like for the abilities and stuff. I think that's uh, going to be key is just uh, you know, getting familiar with all the powers and how to use them all. In the uh, the the build that we're going to be releasing in 1.0, we've got quite a bit more um, help screens and tutorial um, screens kind of explaining a little bit more on how to use the abilities. Um, some are a bit more advanced, especially things like the flashbang, um, you know, the, the really kind of knowing when and where is best to use it and, and how to capitalize on it can make a big difference in the game. Totally. Right. Preview this and see what happens. Carnage, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, counting on it. Do it. Got this down. that guy firing like that? Throwing that barrier, maybe? Oh. Alright, let's go this, this, and then do this thing. And like right here, we'll do this amazing thing. Definitely win. Oh, did I s totally mince me to that guy? Sweet. Oh, right, because I've got to refire that. doing wrong with that sniper. Okay, so I've got... He's crouched behind cover. 
there a way that I can shoot that cover specifically, or do I have to free fire it? Uh, so you want to shoot the covers right in front of the sniper? Uh, well, no, I've got my sniper here, uh, off on the right-hand side, and I, there's a silhouette of Vax's gunman. Yes. There's a destructible cover between us. Well, he's crouched, so, so I can't actually see him behind that cover, even though we're next to each other. Um, you should be able to. If you cancel the free fire order. So free fire probably won't hit him. But if you cancel the free fire order and then sim it, um, maybe just move up a little bit. You should be able to see him. Right. We'll uh, just see how it uh, how it plays out. Interesting. Maybe that cover you can't see over. It's possible. Hmm. Um, you could crouch and uh, uh, free fire into the cover, and that would destroy it. Oh. <laughs> It's okay, he stood up. <laughs> he solved my problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> I ate sniper. That was a very long bead that I drew on you. Oh, it's like point blank. So, sniper bullet. I have a problem where one of my one of my units refuses to move. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Like you can't click on it? Or is it the guy that's like it look he's right next to that um police barrier? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got stuck on one of those before I had to create a waypoint that was really uh off to one side. I think the pathfinding is just having a hard time reconciling that particular edge. So I'm just gonna move in a different direction. Yeah, yeah the police barriers there's uh there's a bug with them right now where you, you... You'll kind of get, you'll run right into them, so you have to pathfind around them. We have a fix for that in our latest build. Okay, yeah. When I when I change the way that I waypoint around it, that actually works. Cool. So if I do a, a look order, <clears throat> if I'm looking one direction on one node and then do a look order on the other one, does it just do a, a like a smooth uh, between those two and interpolate the? Yeah, he'll he should turn towards the new look direction. Usually in the right right orientation, some that we've noticed that there's a there's another bug where sometimes he'll spin in like full round, mm. but uh, that's I think that's fixed in the latest version. Too. Yeah, there we go. Moving. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think the mo the mobility. Like I like the, the fact that there's half cover here, but uh, having a character like yeah, being able to. So it's, it's the barricade shotgunner that can just shotgun his way through stuff, right? Moves through? Uh, yeah, there's a breaching shotgunner, and, breaching and he shotgun. can crash through um, barriers and basically anything that's destructible. Cool, okay. I'm going to definitely use him. That kind of mobility uh, really mixes it up, which is awesome. Cool. Again, with just one guy, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I went all gunmen, and I thought the sensor thing would be a neat, neat shtick to do, just like have them all spam sensor, but that it, it didn't quite work out for me. It just resulted in my guy just sitting still and then uh, getting out positioned. The old flank and spank, as it were. Yeah. Are you uh, looking at doing melee-based classes or classes with like uh, moving cover, that sort of thing? We've been looking at the melee stuff quite a bit. Um, we there's been some debate about how to make it function in a way that you want it to function, because you know, especially given that the AI kind of needs to take over, so it's almost. Um, you know, if there's two characters, which one does he go after, and how long does he go after him before he stops, and that kind of thing. So, we're we're still working through some of the kinks to see if that might work, but it's kind of in line with the other types of character classes that we're looking at as well. Um, 
the last time I saw it done fairly well was um, Laser Squad Nemesis had some had some melee characters that uh, I think worked fairly well in the case, but again, it still had a few quirks you had to work around. <laughs> I can see how it could be difficult um, considering how the range combat works in in, um, in this game. That uh, having a melee class would potentially be something that wasn't wasn't super desirable. So I can see why. There's some challenges you have to get around. Yeah, totally. Oh, that was a fun one. All right. Let's, uh, I'm just going to give you some uh, bonus assault. I got first kill, got the kills, four, 40. All the kills. 65. That's mega salts. Let me tell you. That's <laughs> <laughs> salty salt. I know, Steven, you've got some salt in the channel now. But uh, Oh, nice. <laughs> you earn it, man. I tell you. Huh. Nice. Is there anybody else in here? No, you're the only person viewing right now. That's a uh, major bummer. Everybody's out enjoying the sunshine, apparently, in Vancouver. Yeah, it's a really nice day. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, and uh, since we all have copies of Lethal Tactics at this point, I'm probably just going to save those and restream and give those away and try to build up some more hype, link that VOD out. And uh, if that's cool with you. Totally cool. Since it does not make sense to give it to the air. <laughs> I've got a few copies. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I this is a this is a really great like really great you know point to point experience. I think this is really fun. Um, so thanks very much, Stephen, for giving giving us the opportunity to play it. I'm having a great time with it so far. Yeah, oh, I really appreciate you guys taking some time to to stream it. It's uh, it's awesome to see other people play the game. That's, that's what I love seeing. So I really appreciate you guys doing it. Well, uh, my pleasure, man. Uh, what I'll do is I'll anytime. Uh, I'll make a the VOD will last for a while, but uh, I'll create a highlight of it as well, and I'll uh, do a quick video and upload that to YouTube and link it out to you as well. So awesome, cool. So Bax, you want Great. to play, play this again? Thanks very uh, much, guys. Again soon. Yep, I think we'll uh, we'll have to arrange for a weekly matchup of a couple hours of uh, Lethal Tactics just to you know <laughs> see who can who can best who <laughs> <laughs> keep the score tally. Hey, you're very welcome, Stephen. It was uh, super That's fun. Right. I appreciate you dropping by and uh, giving us some tips. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. Any guys uh, in time want some more tips or help, let me know, and I'm happy to hop on. Awesome, man. Thank awesome. you for uh, yeah, living in a cave here because, uh, you know, the sunshine. Let's go out and get some sunshine, people. Get it in your eyeballs. <laughs> All right. Daystar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks very much. And, cool. Uh, Thanks, guys. Later, All right. Talk to you guys again soon. All right, that's the stream for Lethal Tactics. We're going to do a bit of a shorter one. Uh, I'll be back later tonight with uh, some other streaming. I'm going to get some rest and uh, medication up again. I'm still fighting this freaking cold. Um, but we're going to be coming back. So if you caught any of this and you want to uh, win a copy of this awesome game, uh, come back for the next stream. I'll be uh, we'll be streaming this, some of this again real soon. I might do some the single player campaign if nobody's available for online play. But until that point, my friends. Take care. Enjoy some sunshine out in Vancouver if you're there. If not, enjoy the weather wherever you're at. And uh, I'll be back on again later. <laughs>